It's, it's basically a mindset, actually, of uh, being able to put your thoughts into a grander idea and then building towards that idea is very helpful towards me when planning, which is an unexpected uh, thing that came out of fame, was the assistance that for me in, sort of, uh, in terms of planning. Uh, uh, the assessment part, though, and I saw this with our faculty, too. When we first presented these ideas to them, is what's the difference of foreign and summative? And there's many people that don't see the difference. And I think back, like, did I really see that grain of a difference or did I care? So I think that's where I used to be. Now I can verify in my instruction that I don't have that many grades in gradebook anymore because I'm using more formative ideas to move them along towards when they have to have that summative, and I'm seeing growth. So I'm seeing it twofold. One, it's impacting my instruction a whole lot. But then secondly, I'm seeing it within my students as well. I love the fact that I can go into a classroom now and uh, recognize teachers utilizing uh, pieces of the continuum of learning that they're using. Goal setting, student goal setting, uh, where they are. You can ask students, uh, where are you in your progression of learning? And they can answer that. Uh, so that's a shift, whereas before, students may say, well, I have a C uh, in this class. Um, what I've seen different so far is a spirit of collaboration. And within that spirit of collaboration, I feel like the group here at Lockerman has their own, almost like their own language. Um, they have a sense of comfort now among the group. And I feel that when Common Core came in, I think a lot of our teachers, our great teachers, lost their confidence um, in teaching and um, would come into a classroom feeling like, gosh, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? And so this gave them a spirit of collaboration that, that they feel comfort with each other and they can share um, what's working, what's not working, um, troubleshoot. And I think that um, I'd like to see that part of fame grow out. Um. Thinking back to when we first heard about FAME, mm -hmm. Formative Assessment for Maryland Educators, my knowledge base was on formative assessment being a classroom exit ticket. It has since greatly changed through the modules and the community of practices through discussions with teachers, administrators, and our district level personnel. We, I personally have now a greater understanding that formative assessment is truly more of a shift in instructional practice, not just a thing or an it that you do within the classroom.